Hey guys, it's Rick here, and I am really excited to show you a little sneak peek of what we've been working on for the last couple of months, which is DAW mode for Studio One. So just uh, a bit of information, uh, we are now kind of in the final stretch of getting it ready to be out there uh, for public consumption, and we're going to be putting it out as a public beta, meaning you'll be able to download it and check it out. But uh, let me just give you a quick little overview of what it's like. So basically what I have here is I have my mixer connected to the computer via USB and I also have the Ethernet output of the mixer connected to a wireless router into one of the LAN ports and then out of the LAN port into my Ethernet port of my computer. Okay, and the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the UCNet screen here and you're going to want to make sure that you see Studio One listed here under software control and um, you will need to be running the latest version of Studio One and then down here where it says recording device make sure that you have software control and what that'll do is allow your transport on the mixer to control Studio One and once you do that all you have to do is hit the magical DAW button like this and now it actually lights up because DAW mode is active so the first thing you're going to notice here is all of my track names are going to match uh, what I see in Studio One. And in addition to that, even my select buttons match the colors of the tracks as well. And of course, you know, first thing that you'll see is, of course, the faders here on the console are, are controlling the faders in Studio One. Um, of course, you also have the ability to solo a channel, um, mute, all work just like you would expect them to do. Um, the other thing that you'll find is is the fat channel section here defaults when you select a channel you'll see the panning for that channel right here and you can see as I'm doing that you're seeing it change in Studio One the button right below the pan will center it as well you, you have the ability to record arm tracks by just hitting this little record button right here and then I can select one track or multiple tracks to record arm them. In the same way, I can also uh, use this as kind of like an interrogator. So if, if, if I am wondering which tracks are record armed, if I just hold this down, you'll see them kind of show up right here. Uh, the other thing that you can do is turn your monitoring on for if you wanted to monitor through the DAW. The little speaker icon will show up right there. And then you also have your edit button below here that brings up the macro panel for that channel, which is pretty cool. You can also get to that by hitting the user button. Then you see your input and output assignment. So just by scrolling on the encoder here, you can see I'm switching to different input sources. And if I have different outputs set up, just by adjusting the encoder below output, I can change the output to any of the different output buses that I have. The last knob is your automation mode. So you can see right here on this particular channel, um, I can switch automation modes. And then uh, you also have the ability to look at your automation modes on the touchscreen. So if you look at the touchscreen, uh, of course you've got mute and solo and record arm and the um, monitor button as well. The encoder will default to the panning for that particular channel. And then you'll see all of your effects, all of your sends, and your different automation modes. Now one thing is really cool is, let's say I want to add an effect to a particular channel. So let's just pick a vocal track here. Uh, it's got right now a Pro EQ and a compressor. Let's say if I wanted to add a delay. I hit the plus sign by inserts. I scroll through my different effects right here. I find uh, a delay that I like. Here's beat delay. I click on that. And notice, as soon as I clicked on that, it also brings up the beat delay in Studio One on the screen, which is pretty cool. Now, as soon as you do that, it's selected beat delay, and you can see all of the parameters for the beat delay are basically available right there in the fat channel. So I've got my different delay offset, tempo, beats, feedback, all that is uh, assigned to the fat channel. Similarly, if I want to look at my compressor, I just unselect the beat delay, select the compressor. Here's all of my parameters for the compressor that show up right here. Um, let's say if I want to take this channel and create a send, 
right here in the touch screen, you have the ability to hit the plus sign. Now I can, first of all, assign it to a send that I've already created, but if I wanted to uh, scroll down to the bottom here and um, create a new send, you can see I've got a ton of sends here. You have the two options of, of creating a bus channel or an effects channel. So if I wanted to assign that channel to, let's say, a new bus channel, and now you can see Studio One has created a bus channel. And right there, from that bus channel, uh, it put it right next to the vocal channel. I can select that bus channel, and let's say if I wanted, let's say, an effects send or a bus send, I would hit this plus button. Now you'll also see that I've have a bunch of other buses already created and different effects sends already created. So if I wanted to create a new effect send, I'll just scroll all the way to the bottom. You can also use the arrow buttons to get down to the bottom very quickly. Add an effects channel, and once I do that, it will essentially put an effects channel right next to that channel that I was on. And now, on channel 11, I can select that effects channel and I can decide what I want to be on that as far as which effect. So I just hit inserts, and let's say I wanted that to be a beat delay on that effects channel, and there it is. There's the beat delay. Okay, now some other cool things about the navigation right here, of course, as you would expect, the transport control will work, the transport in Studio One. If I hit play, it's playing. Stop stops it, as you would think. The right button right here will get you back to the, the beginning of the song. Now the other thing that you can do is you can hit shift and if I just want to scroll you can see here let me pull up the mixer the play button will move my transport kind of in a scrolling fashion and the button to the right will will kind of let you scroll left as well so you can go left and right and then when you're out of shift you're back into play and return to zero. Okay, the next thing that you will find that's really cool about DAW mode is these three buttons right here. So what these do is the very first button at the top, when you hit that, you'll see all of your effects channels show up. The DCA groups button will bring up your VCAs, so any VCAs that you have will show up there. And the mix effects master channel will bring up any of your buses right here on faders. Really, really cool. So to the left of the mixer, the first eight mix buttons will bring up your effects sends. So let's say effects send one, if I click this, this is my delay. So let me solo the vocal and I'll, I'll let you hear what I'm doing. So basically, uh, I hit play. So you may be, so you might and let's say if I wanted to add some delay to that. And so mix two would be another effect. I think it's a reverb, so So all of your effect sends will show up right here on these first eight mix buttons. The next eight mix buttons will be your cue mixes. Another really cool thing about the touch screen, if you hit the second edit button right here, it brings up this new kind of transport window. And Again, you know, you have transport controls right here, you have your loop on and off, you have click track on and off, you can switch from seconds to bars right here, you've got your punch in, you also have your pre-roll on and off and record mode replace button. And last but not least, these effects buttons here are quick buttons that allow you to bring up different views. So you've got your edit window that you can bring in, you've got your inspector, on effects A, effects C will bring up your mixer, and then effects D brings up your browser. So that's a quick look at where we are on DAW mode. And I just want to say uh, we really appreciate everybody's patience. Uh, we would have loved to have put this out, um, you know, even months ago as we had originally planned, but uh, our commitment to our customers is that we want to make sure that it's rock solid before we put it out, even as a public beta. And basically, the whole public beta thing is really just so that we can get it out into as many different computer configurations as we can. You know, we have a small team of probably 20, 30 beta testers that are testing on different platforms, but, you know, it's impossible to really 
check this thing out on every single computer configuration without doing something like a public beta. So uh, we're really excited about that and it's uh, hopefully coming as soon as possible once we're to a point where we feel like it's rock solid for you guys. So uh, hey, have a great Christmas, Happy New Year, and Happy Holidays to everybody. And uh, Domode, it's coming. See ya.